Starting a new quote is simple. Start by clicking the new quote button under the two month calendar, or you can go to the orange taskbar and mouse over the customer tab and click new. This is the customer tab. Here you will fill out the customer's information and their move details. The fields in yellow are required in order to move forward to the next page. The other fields are optional. You will see four tabs, Customer, Inventory, Quote, Overview. The fields in yellow are required in order to move forward to the next page. The other fields are optional. The Add Source drop-down menu is customizable and can be edited in the drop-down menu of the Admin tab. In the Origin section, here you can fill out the following. The Origin Type via the drop-down menu, the Description, the Map Location, which you can populate the address with Google Maps by clicking the Map Lock icon, the Zip Code, Stairs, which are how many flights of steps that factor in, and Distance, which is the length between the truck and the door. On the far right of the field, there are four links. Customer Addresses, this will populate the info from the top. Headquarters, this will populate your address if it is for storage purposes. Clear, which will clear all of the fields. And Add Extra Stop, here you can add up to two extra stops. Once you have filled out the empty fields, click on the orange Next button at the bottom of the page, which will take you to the Inventory tab. On this page, you can enter the customer's inventory or weight in pounds. You can manually add in the inventory slash household codes by entering the number into the code box, or click the Help Codes link. This is located at the top left side of the page under the Inventory tab. MovePoint will populate an inventory cube sheet. On the cube sheet, you can manually enter the quantity of each item, or you can click on the checkbox next to each item to add into inventory. There are five types of inventory to choose from. Household, Office, Accessory, Pack Material, Pack Services. Once you have your entire inventory, including packing, accessorial services, and packing materials, click the orange Update button. When you are finished, click the orange Next button to go to the Quote tab. On this page, you can see total cubic feet, items, pounds, and miles. You can adjust the pricing methods at the following. Moving services, packing materials, packing services, storage services, fuel surcharge, and valuation coverage. Here you can also leave job notes, both internally and externally. When you are finished, click the orange Save button to go to the Overview tab. Here you can send an email or estimate to the customer. You can also log a follow-up, view or upload all files associated within the quote, schedule a walkthrough survey, and find out the schedule of the move on the operation calendar. Under the Go To options, you can access Storage, Claims, a follow-up log, and an access log. From this overview screen, you can see how the quote came in via the ad source, the day the move is scheduled, and the details related to it, origin and destination including extra stops, and the inventory and notes related to the move.